in this example we want to use the router step to based on different condition route to different path and return different value for example when the input xml is like this the choice is alphabet return alphabet if it's number return number if it's something else not alphabet and also not number return invalid choice now let's go to cpi create a new package called routing to do the routing related iflow on condition We're not going to use receiver, we will use content modifier only. So now we add the router step. Either we call it router, some um, other country, maybe in British, we call it router, but I'm more familiar with the pronunciation router so i use router okay then by default when you first add the only one route you can make this a default route but route is only valid if there's a uh, more than one else there's no no need for route so i put another where is it? another end message here and click from here drag to here this is route 2 so Route 1 We are using For this sample we use a uh, XML With the value choice The syntax is like this If it's a uh, Alphabet Then set the body like this one. And if it's number, Set it as number and we add another one. This one we call it uh, this is uh default route.
invalid choice and uh, and this is default route okay deploy Okay, now go to go to CPI. I uh, sorry, go to Postman. Uh, create a new package for routing. I just duplicate this one. router okay now let's test with the payload if it's alphabet then we get the value here alphabet only so it, it go route once based on the condition based on choice equal to alphabet if the choice is number then we get the number yep go to this route each time only one route will, will be taken not sequentially, only one only we are choose. So if it's something else, let's say something invalid. Now we get an invalid choice back. Yep. So this is just a simple example to show the uses of router. Okay, then next <coughs> next we want to I want to show you this also beside using the XML in fact we can use the non XML this one is using the expression to do that we need to get the choice value first let's say we put it into header choice and we take from xpath choice so in here if the non xml the we should use expression header dot choice equal alphabet there is an error let's see what's error invalid format or condition expression value oh, okay sorry it should be like this header dot choice you could yeah you can see from here there's a syntax also tell you how to fill in this is just a one example of non xml if you want to see the full potential condition how to fill in you can search help.sap cpi router then under define routing step 
under router this is a potential non xml expression that you can use you can use string content not content in operation in that content multiple value not in regular expression also can and combination of and or the all operator comparison equal not equal so it's very uh, flexible yeah but one thing to take note is that it recommend that you're using same type of condition if you use xml then all recommended to use xml if it's non xml then all better use non xml this is the recommendation and not combination of both which is mentioned if the condition is combination the evaluation will fail let's see okay back to cbi so now i change it to uh, expression only for this part Okay, then alphabet here is a number. This could be a name. Okay, deploy. Ah, uh, okay. Before that, I just change something so that we we know that is chain already. Okay, alphabet. Yep, so it, it work. It, based on the expression, it will work also. Although I'm not sure why it mentioned mixing of combination of both. We have, we have here. Here indeed is combination of xml and non xml yep uh, it work okay that's all for this topic router based on condition or so-called content based router thanks for your time